All right, in this problem, we're asked to find the domain of the composite function f composed of g. Well, when we don't have a number or anything like that out here at the end, it is as if there is an understood x. Before we can do the domain, we really need to find out what the composite function is so that we can do the domain. I'm going to rewrite this using my notation. So g of, I'm sorry, f of g of x. Well now, what is the g of x? The g of x is 2 over x. That's what they've defined here for us. So what we are really evaluating here is the f function, but we are going to replace our variable with 2 over x. Okay, the f function is a fraction. It says we're going to take the variable over the variable plus 3. But in place of those variables, we're evaluating for 2 over x. Now this is the composite function, but it's not simplified. So we need to simplify this properly. And the way we do that is we need to multiply through by the common denominator. In this case, the common denominator is x. So I'm going to multiply every single term by the common denominator of x. I'll write that out here, LCD equals x. Now when we do that, Look what happens on top. We have x on the bottom and an x on top. Those cancel out. So on the, in the numerator, all we have is a 2. And in the denominator for our first term, the x's cancel. So we our first term is a 2 plus 3 times x would be plus 3x. This is our composite function. Now, we're not done though because it actually asks us for the domain of the composite function. So we really need to do that domain. Well, domain is the set of all x's such that x cannot be something in a rational um, equation or rational function. If you'll remember, the way we find that is we set the denominator equal to zero to find out what would cause that problem. So if I continue solving this, moving two to the other side, and then dividing both sides by three, we find out that we have a hole in the domain at negative two-thirds. So we have the set of all x's such that x cannot equal negative two-thirds. Now, there's one more thing that we have to watch out for when we're dealing with composite functions. Back up here, when we were finding this, we actually placed a function inside another function. We did that assuming we could. There is, though, a special time that I could not use this function. If my denominator here turned out to be a 0, then 2 over 0 would be undefined. And we couldn't have used it in the first place. So what we need to do also is go back and double check that inside function and see what would cause it to have a hole in its domain. And then we need to take that into consideration. Our composite function cannot have an x value of negative two-thirds, but we also cannot have an x value of zero because that would have caused a problem in the first place. So our final answer for the domain would be the set of x's such that x cannot equal negative two-thirds and x cannot equal zero.